when it comes to NBA 2K25, we all know when it comes to the center position, the cheesiest thing that you have to go against are these inside center builds. And today we are making a center build that's going to stop all of that, okay? I'm talking about everything. Have you ever played Rec and you just cannot simply stop the cheese that is happening? I'm talking about the post-fade phenoms. I'm talking about those drop steps. I'm talking about just being bullied. If you're sick of this, then today I got the cure. I got the antidote, okay? Call me Dr. C-Note down below in the comments. But before we get into this video, I just want to remind you that we are doing a very special VC giveaway for the month of November. And just to enter, it's free, okay? We are going to be looking for four different winners. So four separate winners have a chance to get their hands on about 90,000 VC. It's completely free. All you gotta do is like this video and also comment down below, center build. That's all you gotta do and you will get your free entry. But let's go ahead and get the cooking in this builder, okay? So what you're going to be seeing today, I'm going to be making a center build that's going to pretty much lock down the paint, but also I'm going to make this center build in such a way that cap breakers are going to make this build even crazier and i'm gonna you know kind of lay it out for you guys and show you why i optimized some things the way that i did all right so let's go ahead and get started position we are going with the center of course our height we are going with the safe and very secure seven feet tall for our weight we want to go for 246 pounds okay this is a solid weight we still want to be strong but we don't have to be that slow i don't want to be too slow all right a 70 speed on a center actually sounds kind of juiced not gonna lie especially for a guy like me who actually plays a lot of wreck so we're gonna go with this and then for our wingspan we are going a seven foot three all right this center build will be able to shoot so when it comes to having to guard a uh, post score they're gonna have to guard you, all right? Not only can you lock down all that cheese, but they're gonna have to deal with what you bring to the table, and that's, of course, stretching the floor. They're slow, so you should be able to go crazy. So, seven foot three for the wingspan, and let's go ahead and go crazy with these attributes. Now, when it comes to our club shot, we're gonna go with an 80. So this 80 right here is going to give us, you know, that bronze little something something. Now, Yes, you can bring this up just a little bit more if you really want silver paint prodigy, but I didn't really make this build to dominate inside the paint because if you're going against a post score nine times out of 10, they're probably labeled a paint beast. And that means their interior defense is probably a little high, okay? Not gonna lie, probably a little high. So we're trying to counteract that and make them come out here and guard this three ball. So close shot if you really want to go crazy on a mismatch paint prodigy on bronze will still get the job done but just know that at four more caps you can definitely go and get you a silver paint uh prodigy right here driving layup we're going to go with a 56 then we're going to go with a driving dunk of a 62 we're not really gonna be dunking too much. This is gonna be like a stretch kind of build. Uh, standing dunk, we're gonna go with a 72. I feel like you could do a lot of damage with a 72 standing dunk. Our post control is going to be a 73. There we go. All right, now for the actual good part of this build and the part that should get you really excited. Your mid-range shot, 85, okay? We still need those those jump shot badges and we still wanna unlock those good jump shots. So 85, I do feel is the threshold. I mean, 80 is pretty much the limit that you really need or the cap that you really need to break, but 85 can get the job done. Three ball, we're gonna go with an 80. We're gonna go with an 83 ball. I feel like that is the by far the lowest that you need. I mean, I feel like you can actually go 78, but having an 83 ball, you should be able to strike consistently. And that's scary for a seven footer to be hitting like that. Free throw, like I said before, we will be using this at the rec. So we went with a 70 
well a 71 for our free throw pass accuracy we're gonna go with a 78 all right that's the bare minimum for me if you want to go higher by all means go higher but you still get break starter you still get versatile visionary you still get dimer on silver ball handle we're gonna go with a 43 for our ball handle speed with ball we're gonna go with that 30 interior defense this is the part that helps us stop those pesky little post scores when it comes to you know getting it done i mean we we want to lock that down and hopefully make sure that paint ain't sweet so not only can we stop lockdowns or not only can we stop post scores but we can also stop all the rim running and all the other crap like we we need to get boards we need to give our team a chance so interior defense we're gonna go with a 90 four now the reason why i went so high for the interior defense is simply due to one badge and one badge only and we are really looking yes we're going to still get paint patroller but we're looking for post lockdown post lockdown is what's going to help us stop all of the cheese so nobody can really just bully us as a post score perimeter defense we're going to go with a 46 our steel we're going to go with a 51 our block is going to be a 90 yes a 90 block we are going to be sending stuff back return to sender offensive rebound we're gonna go with an 85 because we could still you know shoot the three and whatnot we're not we're probably not going to spend most of our time down getting an offensive rebound but we can get one defensive rebound our bread and butter is going to be a 92 okay a 92 defensive rebound will go ahead and unlock that rebound chaser on gold we are not far away from getting our rebound chaser on hall of fame and then our box out beast we're still looking forward to getting that on gold or higher very soon for our speed we went with a 70 for our speed so we're going to be strong but we're actually going to be a lot faster than a lot of these post scores out here so i'm happy about that our agility is going to be a 50 our strength is going to be a 90 five yes a 95 we really wanted to focus on getting brick wall hall of fame and if we really wanted to push even further we can go and look at getting uh closer to a 99 strength but look at this our post lockdown all we need is pretty much what five interior points and then two in our strength and we will have a legend post lockdown for our vertical we went with a 77 and that is all all right so let's look at some of these badges real quick so when it comes to scoring on the inside we still got paint prodigy to look forward to we're not going to be doing too much damage on the inside but when it comes to stretching the floor and being a good teammate getting you know those greens shooting the lights out the gym we're going to be all right all right an 85 for our mid-range we're super close to getting that dead eye we're super close to getting a lot of this stuff all right so cap breakers are going to be a must to get even better but i mean if you really want to use cap breakers like off the early then i would recommend let's see i would recommend maybe going for our mid-range shot a little bit more but I think an 80 would be just fine. I think silver sh set shot specialist is cool. Our tier one plus one badge is going to, of course, be applied to one of these badges. And I mean, it might just be set shot specialist. I like gold set shot specialist, but as long as I'm close, I'm good. All right, I am good. We're not gonna be too many, like we're not gonna be like playmakers, but we're gonna be pretty much defenders. We're locking down the paint. So when you see the paint patroller, we're three, attribute points away from having a gold paint patroller and i feel like that is the sweet spot that should be the bare minimum for a center especially in the wreck with all the things that's going on people you know forcing their will in the paint this is going to be helpful so a, a gold paint patroller and then if you can go and get legend post lockdown you're going to be solid all right the blocks are going to be there pogo i mean 
it, it it's there all right it's there when it comes to our rebounding though yes our rebounding is kind of scary all you would really need is pretty much two attribute caps and you will be in the running up for a hall of fame box out beast you know like you'll get a lot of hall of fame badges and just a few legend badges but it, it's all good you know what i'm saying it's all good you don't need to go too crazy but this build is going to lock down the paint and be a scoring option just to space the floor for you guys all right i know inside centers are cool and all but hey when it comes to a good center, you need to be able to stretch the floor. And I feel like you can really feel the difference when you're playing wreck, especially with so many people and so many things happening in the paint. You don't have any, op you don't have any room to operate really, but we're gonna go and look at these takeovers. When it comes to the takeovers, you could easily use Fortress. Fortress will of course give you a 88 three ball and a 99 strength if you don't already have a 99 strength and on top of that you get that blockade takeover ability so you'll be knocking people out pretty much with a screen and that is magnificent because if i can take out the the point guard that's fighting the screen and i can go you know pick and pop then that center has a lot that he has to manage like is he going to stop me from getting an open three or is he going to stop my guard from either driving or hitting the fade you know so that's cool and then on top of that if you just want to you know really really defend then of course there's that rim guardian takeover i mean on paper having a 99 interior and a 97 block and a 99 strength doesn't look too bad if you really want to be the kryptonite to a post score it doesn't look too bad i'm not gonna lie uh paint dominance we got splash towers this is another really really good one if you just want to spot up with your center pick fade or pick and pop you know what i'm saying three ball would be an 88 interior would be a 99 and then on top of that you'll get that marksman there, there's a lot of things you can do with this build all right so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to move on and let's see what we get shades of here. So Jack Sikama, uh, Nurkic, and uh, Valanchunez, all right? I know the last two, okay? The last two are pretty, pretty solid, okay? Pretty solid, especially when it comes to defending the rim. And they got a little, well, one of them really got a little jumper on them, but we have successfully created a two-way board hunting stretch. I've seen a lot of these guys and they're all pretty much different it's actually super weird that there's like eighty thousand ways to make this build but not all of them are insanely crazy like i, I see a lot of two-way board hunting stretches at like six foot seven some of them are power forwards it, it, it it's a whole mess but this is what you should be running with if you just want to set screens get rebounds and be a elite defender when it comes to protecting the paint if the paint is sweet on your team then you might want to look at a build like this all right hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here if you did then make sure you smash a like on the video now let me remind you again before we hop up out of here i am still running the november vc giveaway so make sure to enter in right here right now smash a like and comment down below center build and that'll get you your free entry to this vc giveaway all right don't miss out free vc is on the line so hopefully you're going to go ahead enter in now and then after you watch this watch this video here on your screen because if you really want another entry i got one for you right here right now so watch this and i will see you all in this next video right here.